What's going on guys, it's Lebike here, um, aka Nate, I guess some of you may know me like that. Uh, this is my first commentary, so don't be too rough on me, I guess. But uh, I kind of wanted to talk about the fact that uh, I'm not really playing enough to actually get any gameplay to edit or, you know, make any episodes or anything. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm thinking about, like, editing or being an editor for a while, even though I'm, like, bad at editing. Because, like, <laughs> band's taking up so much time of my life. Well, I'm on the drum line. If Some of you may know that. But, uh, yeah, I'm on the drum line. And we're out there from maybe like three hours at night and then the next morning we'll get up at 6 30 and be out there till 8 so it's taking up a lot of my time and yeah oh and by the way this isn't even a mic it's not even a real mic it's actually my phone and I'm just gonna use it to record my voice and I'm just gonna put it on the computer and then I guess just stick it in the video. By the way, the gameplay is uh, probably like two months old. It was whenever I was in Avenge, and uh, I think it was like my first game of the day, because it was pretty rough. And I went on like a six streak. It was like 16 kill streak or something like that. But yeah. But uh, what I really wanted to talk about after, like, you know, giving my update was, um, Around my area right now, there's a lot of people doing drugs. And I'm not talking like just smoking weed, like they are hardcore, you know, popping pills and stuff. And earlier this month, or earlier in the summer, uh, my really good friend, Nigel Valentine, ended up um, overdosing and killing himself. And it was pretty rough for a while. Like, I'm over it for the most part now, but it's not only been him. Like, he was pretty much the first of the summer. And then right before school got in, and the, I've only been in school for a week, so this was like a week ago, that two more people overdosed. Like, one, I think, was on Friday, and then one was on Saturday. And it's pretty nerve-wracking that so many people, even after Nigel had overdosed are still doing drugs and it's just a big problem around where I live and I just hope that some of you out there aren't doing hardcore drugs like I don't I don't really care about people smoking weed that's not a big problem to me like I just find it a problem when you're you know popping pills like it I don't know, it just bothers me so much and then if any of you out there are you know doing hardcore drugs like that, I'm just going to ask you to just, like, you know, please stop. It's it's not cool. Like, I guess some of you may, you know, actually have problems and, you know, you think you need to, you know, drown them away by getting high, but you really don't. Like, just find something else. Like, I don't know, play more video games or something, but I don't know. Please just don't. It's not cool. I don't really, I don't know, like, whenever Nigel started doing drugs like that, like, he, me and him kind of, like, lost our friendship, like, I just kind of stopped talking to him, I told, my mom actually told him to stop coming over to my house, like, I don't know if he really was the one that started stealing my money, because I noticed my money started disappearing, and then he tried to, like, make an excuse about it. And that was the only assumption I could make was that it was him. And I knew he was taking drugs. Or I was doing... I knew he was doing drugs for a while. So, but I thought he was mainly just smoking weed. I really didn't know he was popping pills. Until, you know... <laughs> until he, you know, died. But, I mean... A lot of druggies think, you know... It's not going to happen to them, you know. They're not going to be the one that, you know, dies and, you know, ends up dead. But you never know if it's going to be you. I mean, Nigel, like, I would never see this happening to him. 
but next thing you know, you know, my friend just walks in the room and he's like, Nigel's dead, and I'm, <laughs> I was just like, no, you're, you're lying, there's no way, I didn't believe him at first, and then he was like, no, I'm being dead serious, and then he was, he was just, oh. And I just broke down, like, I didn't know what to do, like, and I mean, I felt so guilty because I didn't do anything about it, or I felt like I should have done something when there really wasn't anything I could have done, and I've even, like, I cried, like, weeks after he was dead just because of that guilt. I know I shouldn't have put it on myself, but, like, we just, I just felt really bad because we got off on a bag, bleh, I'm just mumbling now. <clears throat> I got off on a bad foot with him when he died, so, you know, I just felt regret, like, because you don't know what you got till it's gone kind of thing. Like, I love that guy. I mean, I'm 15 now, and I knew him since I was 7. Like, that's just a big chunk of my life just gone. Like, every day I would just go outside and play with him, like, for hours on end till my mom was, you know, yelling for me to come back inside it was just like and this was an everyday thing and I spent it with him and he was literally over at my house every day until he started doing drugs every day I remember like every day in the summer he would stay the night well pretty much it was like maybe every other day but I remember one time he stayed over for an entire week and it was just awesome but I mean it, it happened as soon as he got into high school like where I live uh, high school doesn't happen like you don't go to high school till you go into 10th grade I was in 9th grade or yeah I was in I'm going in or I'm in 10th grade but I was in 9th grade whenever during the summer and whatnot so I mean he was in, like, as soon as he got into high school, you know, he just finds those group of people that just, he just fell into the wrong group. But it could have been just, you know, him. Like, he, I remember anywhere, anybody we were around, he just, like, fit in. Like, he adapted to anybody. It wasn't just, he could fit in with anybody. Like, even with the weird gothic kids, like, you know, he could fit in with the stoners, he could fit in with the skaters, he could fit in with the annoying black people. I, I shouldn't say that. That's that's mean. But uh, he was black, by the way. He wasn't full black, but maybe I'll, you know, like, put a picture of him or something in the top right corner or something. I don't know. But, yeah, this kind of turned into a talking about Nigel kind of thing. But, oh well, you know, I love the dude, but I probably ran over time already over the gameplay, so uh, if you want to see some more commentaries, I guess I'll do some more, but uh, I'm going to buy a real mic <laughs> instead of using my phone, so yeah, until next time, see you guys later.